and welcome to How to Play. Uh, so we're going to look today at the, the very beginning, how to hold the guitar, okay? So the good news is the guitar is a perfect shape for us to hold. The bad news is it's easy to get it wrong and give yourself problems in the future. So right from day one, you need to be thinking about um, sitting in, with a good posture, okay, so you're comfortable. That will help you play, learn better and play better. So the first things first, okay, I've got the strap uh, on my guitar and I use that as often as I can purely because it saves me having to worry about holding the guitar with my hands. If you don't have a strap, don't worry. But the first thing you should think of is to put the guitar on your leg like this, the curve of the guitar over your leg and it should balance fairly nicely. Uh, without having to worry about it. The next thing is hold the guitar slightly with your right elbow. Now this is something that people don't normally tell you about but the more you can control the weight of the guitar with your right arm even though you're going to be strumming the less pressure you put on your left hand when you're fretting the notes that you have to play. So, guitar sat over your leg with the curve of the guitar helping. If you've got a, an unusual shaped guitar, obviously try and take that into account as much as possible. Um, right arm, pressing slightly against this part of the guitar to hold it steady. The next thing is, make sure the guitar is as upright as is comfortable for you. The natural tendency is to have the guitar like that so you can look down at what you're doing but that will make your playing uncomfortable and it also means you won't be able to get a good tone later in your playing. So get used to playing with the guitar as upright as possible and if you have to look over, kind of peek over the top using your head looking down rather than turning the guitar towards your head. Um, left hand or fretting hand, okay? Normally we've got, I'm going to say left hand because most people play right handed I'm actually left-handed myself, but when I started playing, it was very difficult to get left-handed instruments, so I learned to play all the instruments that I play right-handed, just because it was, it was easier. And if you're starting out, it's something I would recommend, because it makes your life a lot easier as you go through your, your career or your time as, as a musician. You can walk into a room and the chances are you'll pick up a right-handed handed guitar. It's unusual for you to walk in and find a left-handed one. Okay, so first thing, when we're holding something as human beings, we tend to grasp it like that. But with playing a guitar or a bass or a mandolin, any any instrument like that, you want to have your thumb really as much as you can in touching the back of the middle of the guitar. I'm going to turn my guitar like that. You can see. Okay. So that's what you want to do. If you get that position right, it means that when you're playing the notes with your fingers, with these fingers, your four fingers here, instead of them coming across the string like that, which you don't normally want for playing, because you want to play with your fingertips, your fingers are forming a more natural curved shape coming down onto the strings. Okay? And then... Okay? So... Number one, hold the guitar with the curve on your knee. Try and support it a little bit with your right arm elbow touching this part of the guitar. Keep it as upright as is reasonably possible for you without you being too uncomfortable. And fingers, thumb in the middle of the, the, uh, the back of the neck of the guitar. And your fingers coming over the top to form a nice curved shape. Okay. So that's the first part of how to hold a guitar. <laughs> 